what happens when you let Morgan Stewart create a deck. Your hand gets lopped off and put on a slide like this. You're going to myth bust. This is a little bit of soapboxing we're going to do that comes out because in the course of this research, it is very rare that you get an opportunity like this. Morgan and I feel very blessed to do six papers over the course of three months and watch how the press, both the, the, the interactive marketing press and then the larger marketing or the larger press, I think we get coverage in a Denver television station about that morning cup of coffee thing, right? But how do they cover this? What's the spin they put on it? Is it spin? And we're going to do three little bits of myth busting right now. We love the Indy Star, hometown newspaper. They gave us a great article, I think it was yesterday, covering the conference here with Richard Branson and everything else. And then they did something that stuck a knife in our hearts. They quoted Nielsen. A Nielsen study showed that all U.S. Internet users' email usage dropped from 11.5% on their computer time spent a day in June 2009 to 8.3% this June, a 28% drop. Social network usage rose 22.7% from 15.8% in the same period. This infuriated us because we had already debunked this research. I'm speechless <laughs> when I see this every time. Um, here's what Nielsen is doing. Nielsen believes that the only email worth measuring in this study is that email which is accessed through a web browser through a web, uh, for, through an online email portal like Gmail, or Yahoo Mail, or Hotmail. But again, it's only measuring the email that is through a internet browser. They've neglected the idea that you could, say, transfer that to your iPhone, which we know is happening, or your iPad, or some other mobile device, or the fact that computers make it very easy to plug in. Or has anybody heard of Outlook? <laughs> <laughs> all the time. That is not included in this number. Here is a chart for you, and for the sake of time, the, the gray is the decline in age groups. So the age groups are 15 to 17 from top to bottom, 18 to 24, uh, 25 to 34, etc. Right? So this gray is degradation, using email less. The orange is using email more. Email is growing. All of our research over the last three years show that email use is going up because social media is propelling email use. Why? What do I need to sign up for Facebook and Twitter? Email address. And email address. Why? Because they need an external way to communicate with me and get me re-engaged if I do not use their systems. It stands to reason. So this and myth is busted. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> busted. 